Hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. I've got a, a little order of operations problem here that uh, mixes multiplication, division, and uh, some addition. And um, I've seen some really disturbing answers on this one. Um, so I'd like to go through and work this out uh, for anybody who might not be too sure on how this works. So uh, if you'd like to at this point, you can pause the video and uh, we'll come back here in a few seconds and work it out together. You can pause it, take as much time as you need, uh, and we can come back and go over this together. All right, so first of all, let's remember um, the order of operations convention. Um, you might have learned it different ways. Some people have learned it through acronyms like BODMAS or BIDMAS, BEDMAS, uh, PEMDAS. PEMDAS is uh, pretty common in North America. Some people have a, a mnemonic like, uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which is basically one way of memorizing PEMDAS. Some people may have heard all those. Some people haven't, and it's no big deal. Some people get hung up on these acronyms and mnemonics, and they're just newer memorization tools that have not always been around. I mean, they've been around for decades, quite a few decades now, but, um, you know, they weren't always used. Um, uh, I think uh, it was it was more, teachers relied more on uh, making sure students understood the actual relationship between multiplication and division and addition and subtraction, uh, which is, I, th I think, one area of failure. And I I don't know where that failure comes from. I, I see a lot of people who are young and old, I mean, uh, who all really forget the order of operations and how it actually works. Um, but uh, basically, it's just four steps. There's um, number one would be parentheses. Now, also, that can include brackets. So uh, I know like in the UK, uh, BODMAS is a, is a favorite acronym there. So instead of using the word parentheses, they'll use brackets. So it could be brackets, parentheses. That's your first step. Uh, second step is exponents. That's things like, you know, five to the third power, which is just a shorthand way of writing five times five times five. Um, now in the UK, I believe that's considered orders or they'll refer to it as powers of, uh, where they get the O, they'll get the O in Bodmus. Uh, but in, in North America, PEMDAS is, is more common. Uh, so you have exponents. That also includes things like square roots uh, as well. Um, just think of exponents as shorthand for repeated multiplication, which is why it falls in that second spot. Uh, the number three spot is your multiplication and division left to right. Uh, this is where a lot of people get confused on these six-letter acronyms. They'll see PEMDAS or BODMAS, and they'll automatically assume multiplication always ha comes before division. Or if they learn BODMAS, they'll think, oh, division comes before multiplication. Uh, that's not true. Multiplication and division have equal precedence, and they're solved left to right. A little bit more about that on the next slide here, but... Uh, uh, then again, we have number four. The fourth step is addition and subtraction left to right. Uh, subtraction is just the addition of a negative number. Addition and subtraction have equal precedence, and you just solve them left to right. And it doesn't even, actually, with addition and subtraction, it doesn't really matter. They're, you just solve them. Um, all right, so I've kind of already explained this already, but why, you know, why is there an order of operations convention? Well, of course, it's so that people all over the world, regardless of where you're from, what language you speak, you all can get the same answer. I mean, can you imagine how ridiculous it would be if people are trying to send rockets to space and whatever, if everybody had their own way of doing math, mathematics. Um, so anyhow, just remember parentheses are just grouping symbols. They're not needed in order of operations, but, but they do tell us if we do see grouping symbols of parentheses or brackets it's just telling us to solve everything in between them using the order of operations before looking at anything else that's all they are uh, exponents we again it's just shorthand for repeated multiplication uh, multiplication is shorthand for repeated addition right it's easier to write five times five than it is to write five plus five plus five plus five you can see how you know your hand's going to get cramped or your fingers are going to get sore. You're going to get carpal tunnel trying to type that out. 
Um, division is equivalent to multiplication by a reciprocal, right? You can say, you know, uh, division, it's a division and multiplication uh, have equal precedence. And again, subtraction is just the addition of a negative number. So that fourth step, addition and subtraction, have equal precedence. If people would understand these basic concepts, we wouldn't have some of this confusion where people are memorizing six letters and doing some some really crazy things. So we're going to go back to this original problem. All right, uh, we have nine divided by nine times eight plus seven times zero. So remembering this order of operations convention that we just talked about, the very first thing we do, uh, we don't have any parentheses, we don't have any exponents, um, we do have multiplication and division. Now remember, multiplication and division have equal precedence and we solve them in the order we find them. We don't start with nine times eight because some people are saying, oh, but you got to start with multiplication. No, that's somebody who memorized a six letter acronym, but they don't know what it means. We do division and multiplication left to right. The first thing we run into going left to right is division. So we have nine divided by nine. What is nine divided by nine? Nine divided by nine is one. So now we're left with one times eight. Remember we had this nine divided by nine times eight. Well, we did the division, so it's 1 times 8 now. Well, that's pretty simple. What's 1 times 8? 1 times 8 is 8, so now we have 8. And we still have this plus 7, which is our addition. We know that we're going to be doing that last. Um, well, it's not plus 7. I have to back up a second. We do have a, a, an addition coming up, but you do see we have this multiplication hanging over here on the right. So that's got to be resolved. So after we've done the multiplication 1 times 8, we've got to do the 7 times 0. And this is where a lot of people are getting confused. And I'm going to cover that uh, when I talk about the two common wrong answers to this problem. All right, so we did the 1 times 8. The other multiplication is 7 times 0. Well, what is 7 times 0? 7 times 0 is 0, right? 0. 1 times 8 is 8. So 8 plus 7 times 0 is 8 plus 0 equals 8. Now I'm going to cover these wrong problems because I'll, I'll just say it now. The, the, the two very common wrong answers to this problem are 0 and 7. Now the 0 I can sort of understand by people who forgot the total order of operations and they're just going left to right. They're just blindly going 9 divided by 9 is 1, 1 times 8 is 8, uh, 8 plus 7 is 15, 15 times 0 is 0. I, I get where they're coming from. That's totally incorrect. You don't blindly solve left to right. You have to follow the order of operations. And, and we've talked about why, because you know you got multiplication as shorthand for repeated addition. So you've got to resolve that stuff before you add and subtract. That's that's how it's always been. Um, so I can understand the zero because a lot of people just forgot the order of operations. Now the and the, the answer of seven is really troubling to me. It it really is. I I couldn't wrap my head around this at first because I've seen a lot of people answering this problem with seven online. Um, and one of the explanations that somebody gave me, and I, I tried my best to follow what they were doing here. Um, they started out 9 divided by 9 is 1, which is good. 1 times 8 is 8. So far, so good. But then the next thing they did on this third step was say 8 times 0 is 0. No, There's no way. And then they're saying 0 plus 7 equals 7. Yeah, this really stumped me. And I, I've seen people give this answer, and I'll even say, well, PEMDAS tells me to do that, or the order of operations tells me to do that. Um, the The real truth of the matter is if you got seven, you're actually really struggling with the concept of mathematical operators and how they act on numbers. Um, you know, something like division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, whatever operator, uh, operator sign you're looking at, uh, they act on the number to the immediate left and the number to the immediate right. So I don't understand where people are getting this idea of swapping things around. 
Uh, we're going to go through this. I'm, I'm going to try my best to explain how people are coming up with 7. You know, they're doing the 9 divided by 9, getting 1, which is good. 1 times 8, because you have this 8 here, right? 1 times 8 is 8. That's good. Okay, but you've got this plus 7 times 0. Now, somehow, in the, in the warped thinking of the order of operations, they're actually thinking that you're going to take this 8 and multiply it by the 0 over here. And then add 7. But like they literally had to skip over the plus 7 and now somehow magically associate this multiplication sign over to this 8 and this 0 to get 8 times 0. I mean, that is so wrong. Like I, I just, I, I, I couldn't comprehend that anybody could actually think that you can swap operators like that. You know, just because multiplication and division have precedence, it doesn't mean that you can rearrange the operators. I mean, they're taking, what they're doing is they're taking 8 plus 7 times 0, which is what it is, but then they're rearranging it to say 8 times 0 plus, uh, actually, I'm sorry, this looks wrong here. This should say 8 times 0 plus 7 equals 7. So uh, let me fix that here. We're going to put a little pen in here because, you know what, I make mistakes too. So here is a 7. So what they're doing is they're saying, let's put this back on my pointer, 8 plus 0 time, plus 7 equals 7. I guess I got so frustrated that I made a mistake here in my typing. But anyhow, you can't do that. Um, and, and, they've, and, they've end, and these individuals even invoke PEMDAS and BODMAS as a justification. So what I'm trying to get across to you is if you really, really thought it was 7 and you think you understood the order of operations, realize that you don't, you're having an issue here understanding how mathematical operators actually work. Okay, so it's, it's, it's kind of a demonstration of the failure of many to understand the order of operations convention you got to remember, this thing is not some kind of magical incantation that allows you to break all the rules uh, of mathematical operations and rearrange those signs at will. I mean, that's that's not how it works. Um, it also reminds me, uh, there there's this failure of a lot of people to memorize a six-letter acronym and assume it's a six-step checklist, too. I mean, it's it's only four steps. That's all there are in the order of operations. It doesn't matter what acronym you learn. Bodmus, PEMDAS, BEDMUS, BIDMUS, Punkt for Stritch in German. doesn't matter what you learned. Um, and even if you didn't learn an acronym, I'll have people say, well, this must be new math because I never heard of PEMDAS. I never heard of BODMUS. Well, what they probably heard, what they heard of was the order of operations. That's what they were taught because that's all that has been taught. But the acronyms are, are newer. I mean, I don't know exactly how new. Um, you know, mid the mid last century. I'm not sure when they actually got started. Um, but um, it, it's irrelevant. The acronyms are not the order of operations. They're just a memorization tool uh, and nothing more. People people would be better off uh, understanding the relationship between multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So once again, that there's only four steps, the parentheses, the exponents, multiplication and division, left to right, addition and subtraction, left to right. Um, again, parentheses are just grouping symbols. Exponents are shorthand for repeated multiplication. Multiplication is shorthand for repeated addition. Uh, division's equivalent to multiplication by a reciprocal. Subtraction is the addition of a negative number. So remember these concepts if you're struggling with the order of operations and problems like these where you have mixed operations. And just realize that you don't need to have parentheses or brackets to do these, right? So um, yes, that's, that's all I've got really in this video. But um, um, if this has been helpful to you, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, and uh, I hope to see everybody in the next video.